When a smartphone like the Samsung Galaxy A50 starts running so slow, you can always expect it to be an issue with the firmware. That's always been the case with similar issues we've encountered in the past. But it also means that this problem is fixable, and you don't have to go to see a technician to get it sorted out. Hey guys, I'm Harold from TheCellGuy.com, and in this video, I will be showing you how to fix your Galaxy A50 that's running slow or has poor performance. First solution, perform the forced restart. A forced restart will be necessary in this case because it's possible that this problem is due to a minor system glitch. It's a simulated battery removal that can fix any minor firmware related problems, including performance issues. It also reloads all apps and services running in the background. To do this, press the volume down button and the power key together, and hold them down for 15 seconds, or until the logo shows on the screen. Once your phone has finished rebooting, try to see if it's still running slow, or still has a sluggish performance. Second solution, run your phone in safe mode. Doing this will tell you immediately if the problem is caused by third-party apps. There are apps that will cause the phone to run slow or struggle in its performance. You need to know if it's really the case with your phone. So follow these steps to run your phone in safe mode. Press and hold the power key until options show. Tap and hold the power off option until it changes into safe mode. Tap the safe mode icon to restart your device. Once the reboot is successful, you should see safe mode at the lower left corner of the screen. If your phone is working properly while in safe mode, then it's confirmed that the problem is caused by a third party app or two. This is what you need to do next. Restart your phone into standard mode. Remember the app you installed when this problem started. Go to the screen where the icon of the app can be found. Tap and hold on the app's icon until options show. Tap uninstall, and then confirm that you want to remove it. You may have to uninstall more than one app to fix the problem. However, if the issue continues even after doing this procedure, then move on to the next solution. Third solution, factory reset your phone. As long as this problem wasn't due to modification of the firmware, you should be able to fix it by doing a reset. However, prior to the reset, make sure to create a backup of your important files and data, as they will all be deleted during the process, and you may find it difficult to recover them if that happens. Swipe down from the top of the screen and then tap the settings icon. Scroll to, and tap general management. Touch reset. Tap factory data reset. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and tap reset. If prompted, enter your PIN, password, or pattern. Finally, tap delete all. After the reset, set up your phone as a new device. I hope that this troubleshooting guide has been able to help you. Please subscribe to our channel, and enable notifications so you can stay up to date with the cell guide. Thanks for watching.